Hi, everyone. I'm Paul with Madcap Software, video three in our series on micro content in Madcap Flare. And we are going to start getting into some of these containers uh, that I talked about in the first video in this series. And in this one, we're going to focus on featured snippets and search results. And you've already seen an example of this in the previous video, if you watched that, because just out of the box, Flare is set up to do that when you create the micro content, it's, it's going to display these things in featured snippets. So what we want to do is take a look at how, how Flare knew how to do this and how you can control what shows up uh, in the featured snippets area. And how did we come up with the name featured snippets anyway? It kind of sounds a little strange. Well, it actually came from Google because um, Google has all those rich objects in the search results, and one of them is called Featured Snippets. You saw that in the first video uh, that I played where I showed Google results. And so when we started doing uh, the same thing in Flare output, we just called it fe Featured Snippets. Uh, don't confuse that with the regular snippets in Madcap Flare. There are two different things, even though you can use regular snippets for featured snippets. I know it's a little confusing. I actually wish the feature were called Julia Child or something like that, because at least it wouldn't conflict. But just keep those straight. Featured snippets, that's your micro content in the search results. Regular snippets, that's the stuff you do to you know, create little miniature files for different pieces of content. All right, separate, but they can work together. So we're going to get into Flare and start taking a look at the UI, what's involved here and how you can change it. I'm back in my little project on dogs that I used in the previous video, if you watched that. It's actually a different version of that project, uh, so it doesn't have the things that I kind of did on the fly in the last video, in case you're wondering why you don't see those things, but for the most part, it is the same. Now, featured snippets. You, we have our micro content files in here, and we want some of these or all of these to populate in our featured snippets area, which by default is going to be at the top above your regular search results in the output. What you can do is go to your project organizer and open up your target. I've got two targets in here. I'm just going to use this one right here. And within the target uh, editor, I'm going to come down to search, right? Now, you need to be using the search, Madcap search, search engine or Elasticsearch, not Google search. That won't work. And you come down and you see the section on featured snippets in here. And by default, it is set to show all of your micro content files. Uh, so everything that is in here is a possible candidate to be shown in the search results if, if, a, if a search term matches close enough. But what you can do is click this filter and you can change that. You can tell Flare, hey, don't include any of my uh, micro content files in the search results if you don't wanna use that featured snippets area. Or you can select specific micro content files. That's why I suggested when you are creating your micro content files to organize them, to group them, into different micro content files. So when you get to this point, it's gonna, going to make it much easier to direct things where you want it to go. And then there is a, an option in here to do this by meta tags. So if you haven't watched the video series on meta tags, I encourage you to do so because we are going to talk about meta tags uh, in, the next, in this video and in the next several videos. Uh, so you can tap into meta tags that you've created in order to reduce the, the number of uh, micro content, pieces of micro content that could possibly be included in featured snippets. And later when we get into proxies, you're actually gonna see two filters. I'm not going to select this one in here. We're gonna talk about meta, I'll show you the meta tags uh, later, incorporated later with proxies. What I'm gonna do is select this uh, option specific micro content files. And then what I can do, it gives you this nasty red text letting you know you're not done. You have to actually select a micro content file. I'm going to select about breeds and I can select another one. I can select as you know, many as I want and I'm going to select training steps. So what I'm telling Flare is, 
hey, if somebody searches for something and there's a match, show it in the featured snippets, but only if you find it in one of these two micro content files. If you find it in one of the others, forget about it. Don't, don't show it. All right, so I've done that. And then I am going to save this and I will build the output so that we can see the results. The output has finished, so let's double click it. Open it up in here. And let's do a couple of searches. Let's search for retriever, because I know I've got a couple of uh, things on retriever, retrievers in here. Golden retrievers uh, open displays, because this was a, the best match according to the search algorithm in here. OK. And then if I also search for something else, let's see, let's search for roll over. So I got steps for teaching your dog to roll over in there. Okay, so that shows up. And these were are displayed because if you go to our uh, micro content files, the about breeds, that the retriever, the golden retriever is right there. We found that. And if you go to training steps, that's the other one that I selected. There's rollover. It found that text. See, it wasn't exact, wasn't an exact match, but it was good enough to show in the search results. Now, if I search for something that isn't in one of those micro content files, like new puppy, which we did in the last video, nothing's going to come up in featured snippets because it's not included. So it's really that simple. Now let's uh, make one more change and see the results. I'm going to come back in here to my target. And this time, what it's doing is it's, it's showing you the best match out of, out of every, everything. But I could tell Flair, give me more containers here. I want the best three results. And so I click Save and I'll rebuild the output. The output has finished again. Let's open it up. And let's look again for Retriever. Now I get two results, golden retrievers and Labrador retrievers. I don't get a third result. I said, give me the best three. But the reason why I don't get that is because let's go to a, about breeds. There's golden retriever, there's Labrador retriever. I could search in here for a retriever. This filter, I don't know that I talked about in the previous version, uh, in the previous video, either, but this is a really nice thing to find exactly what you've got in here. And so you can see I've got two results and then I can clear my filter by clicking that. And if I look, if I looked in training steps, I can tell at a glance, I don't have the word retriever. And that's why I only get two results instead of one. So that is featured snippets in search results.